Oh, pause. All oh, right. well, more time to talk about Jax. You know, to be fair, Darshan did a great job of split pushing yesterday. Yep. He was able to get a lot done in the games we saw. So, I mean, it does kind of fit what CLG's been kind of doing this weekend already. And I, but they have to show something different here, right? What I really, really liked about Jyn Era's draft, they're starting on the blue side, so they freed up a couple of extra picks. Gangplank surprisingly fell all the way through the picks and bans in this game. But Jyn Era, they banned Gracchus, which we saw CLG have a lot of a lot of success with yesterday. They ban out the Rise, and then they take the Riven blind. So what this says to me is, this is Jyn Era, they're trying to test out and see what else CLG has. Yeah. So they're, it's just game number one, but they've taken away a lot of the comfort picks that we saw from Counter Logic Gaming yesterday, and now it's, a, it's how deep do CLG's champion pools and strategies go. Yeah, provided you can actually play those champions that you steal, I think that's a, a really good strategy to go into a game oh, one of can. the best of well, series. Well, we know Soan can play Riven, that's for sure. He's played five competitive games in his history. Three of them are on Riven. He is one and two on Riven so far. But he is known as a Riven one-trick pony in Korean solo queue. So it's probably his most comfortable champion. It fits the meta right now. So taking it away, uh, I think he's going to be OK. And looks like the problem is with Stixay's computer. So we'll see if we can get that fixed. Thixade? <laughs> I don't know where I was going with that. And this is a match that's, you know, again, kind of hard to call. But uh, you know what? I'm just, I'm still a little bit sad that GBM is gone from Jyn Air. I miss the bow ties already. I miss the attitude. I don't really miss his play so much because it was kind of slow, kind of boring. I love his play. I miss the person. Yeah, you would. <laughs> you like boring you, games you look of like League the kind of, of person that will enjoy his play, Monte Cristo. <laughs> How about you, Crepo? Um, Come on, be honest here. I think people very often when they rate him, like they look at a highlight from a match and like, oh, GBM, fantastic player. I meant what kind of games do you like? Oh, what kind of games? Yeah. Um, uh -huh. You're well the same played, as Monte. Yeah, I like yeah, patience. I, I like so. I like eliminating oh. choice. Forcing, <laughs> you know, how you, how you have like forced errors? That, but, those are the ones I like the most, where you force people into either a really bad decision or a super bad decision. That's the okay. Like. <laughs> so firmly against strategic diversity. Wow, I don't know. That's a bold statement to make, Crepo. Uh, no, yeah. strategic diversity is fine, as long as you use it to your advantage and you just uh -huh. out-diverse your opponent. I see. Well, out diverse. Out diverse. See, whenever I lose a game of solo queue, that's why I think I'm like, oh, I've been out diverse. <laughs> oh. Man, if only I had just did more different things in that game. <laughs> like not feet, for example. It's tough, yeah. Well, I mean, you do it a little bit, and then you like steal a kill here and there, and then your vein gets mad and like AFKs. There's, there's three things already that your team is doing. It's quite diverse. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, but yet it doesn't work. Well, we've got large amounts of people working on Stixay's computer right now. That's right. I can confirm the sound is on. Okay, this guy. <laughs> Keyboard is plugged in. We'll build him a new one here. We'll start. I've got the, the case. Do you? I do. You do. It's you under don't. the it's under the desk. <laughs> I'm putting in an Intel CPU, of course. <laughs> There's the fastest and best CPUs of all. I can't build a PC. Oh really? Yep. It's not that hard. Nope. I I I I have to confess. I let somebody build mine. Oh, it's okay. I'm not a true gamer. <laughs> I'm just a fraud. Wow. We're learning a lot about you, I feel like, in this pause, Crepo. Yeah, can this game start already before I start talking about the deep, dark I, I, terrors I, I, of yeah, my childhood? No, 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 I, uh -huh. I want to hear more of your flaws. Like, I, I bought a used one on Craigslist. I don't even know what's in it. It just had, like, a lot of big, bright-colored fans on the side. I'm like, ooh, that looks like a gaming computer. And that looks like our trophy. There it is. Kind of looks like the game that came down in the sky in Reboot. You remember that? Warning, incoming game. I remember, you remember reboot. reboot. I don't remember that. Yeah, like when, the, when a game was going to be played, <laughs> like there's a square opened up and something came down like that. I tried wa like going back and like watching the reboot opening. You really can't. Can I, it's, yeah. it's really awful, isn't it? Is. it? See, <laughs> believe it or not, the CG did not stand the test of time. But those Jurassic Park dinosaurs still look great, so I don't know what the deal is. <laughs> uh, I think one had a lot more of a budget, though. <laughs> <Maybe>. <laughs> Slightly more. I didn't see Steven Spielberg attached to a reboot last I checked. Maybe he should be for the reboot reboot. The reboot reboot. <laughs> see, you can't really do that. Then I can find one. out what the hell you guys are talking about because I have yeah. no oh. clue whatsoever. Oh, well, we kind of left crap out of that conversation, didn't we? Oh. Well, sorry, man. You'll have to wait for the Spielberg reboot reboot to understand yeah. what we're talking about. Should I update it a little bit? Should we jump ahead in time a while? Maybe uh, 
Teletubbies. Teletub I yeah, I, I want some, some SpongeBob here to reboot a SpongeBob oh, there you go. in, in okay. 3D. It's okay. Virtual reality SpongeBob. Yeah. Virtual reality. <laughs> what would that involve? A sensation of drowning? Because we're not we're not sea creatures. We can't breathe underwater. I mean, yeah, he's a sponge, a walking sponge. sponge. I mean, I don't know. Man. That's so I that's what SpongeBob is. <laughs> I always wondered. Clarification. Yeah, <laughs> just just for the people out there. SpongeBob is His a name walking is Bob. sponge. Two thousand sponge. That's about two thousand fifteen. I actually Thank never you. watched SpongeBob either. Wow. I played too many <laughs> video games, man. It's a lord of lies over here, yeah. man. Jeez. I'm just a fraud. <laughs> <laughs> I just read up reviews online and I tell people that I know everything. So, just a chronic lying that. But it's, kleptomaniac. See, if you're going to be a chronic <laughs> kleptomaniac, <laughs> I think if you're going to be a compulsive liar, it's best to have it be things about I watched SpongeBob when you actually didn't. Well, looks like a slight lead for Jyn Air in terms of the fan vote. And I think that's appropriate. I think that's about where I'd put it to. I think Jyn Air does have a bit of an edge, but it could go either way. I think we're finally going to get a game three out of this series. What do you guys think? I think it seems pretty likely. Like I said, it just depends. So in at the World Championship, CLG came in, and when Lulu Bid was banned, they went 0-4. And they didn't... They looked good with that fast push strategy with the Lulu Bid and putting on a lot of early pressure, but they couldn't really figure out how to play any other way for the rest of the group stage. So we've seen them play uh, so far, you know, with this Gragas. Is that the key to breaking CLG here too? How how deep can they go strategically? Yeah, and it, it doesn't even only count for CLG. So many teams, especially when newly formed, they latch onto maybe one or two key strategies in the limited amount of time practice that they have to really perfect. And if teams don't really ban that out, they can run that throughout the entire tournament. But then suddenly, if you have a really smart pick ban strategy where you get to ban to steal another two champions away, then you often see these teams crumble. So that could very well happen to CLG because they're right now, they're running a risky composition. If they get snowballed on, it's so easy for Green Wings to just, yeah, execute so much CC. Every single champion can produce one hard CC component. That is the key to snowballing. Yeah, and if you try and fight Jyn Air around Dragon or around Baron when Jyn Air has a lead, it's just going to be lights out pretty much. There's, it's not really anything they can do. You talked about the, the teleport flanks from Jax, but it's all up to Darshan because he has to play around the Lissandra ult. Like, that's yep. the key for him is that he's going to be coming in late to clean up these team fights. He goes in early and he is going to get mauled by the crowd control from Jyn Air and they need him to be effective and to deal damage. Seems like kind of endless engage from Jyn Air. But I've got good news, guys.